Gotta find my first class. I'm really here in high school. What's up, guys? It's Kaylin, and I am back with another video. And today's video is going to be a little different. I am going to be sneaking into a high school. I pretend to be a teenager for a day and go back to high school. So, if you want to see that, come on. If you are new here, my name is Kaylin and I do like to talk about social issues and this is a social issue because the reason that I did this stemmed from more so just being a joke. It stemmed from just like, oh, I could be a high schooler to being like, I remember when I was in high school and literally anybody could just walk in our high school. Like no one was kind of like checked. Like they said, you should have to stop at the little front desk to get a pass or whatever. But I mean, you didn't really have to do that. And since America doesn't give a damn about gun control or actually doing anything for that, I decided, hey, let me show the world and see, hey, our kids are not fucking safe. Like, anybody can go on to schools, even just a random ass guy like me. So imagine what little Billy with an AK-47 can just do if he can just walk into any fucking high school. I'm hoping that this video will shed some light onto this issue because I think that it is an actual issue. Like, if you're not going to do something to control, it's a little safer for the kids. Like, God damn it! like, at least have them... Like, I don't feel like students should have to go through hoops to get into high school, but I do feel like it should be safer. And it's not my job to figure out how to make it safer, but I'm letting you guys know that it's not safe at fucking all. Okay, I have made it. Well, not yet. I'm walking to the campus right now. I just got a parking space because I didn't know if they had parking on campus, so we're going. Should be excited. So I'm here. Um, yeah, gotta find my first class, and then yeah, go for it. Should be fun. without like someone at least noticing that I've left campus. So this is gonna be the next funny part of this. I made a friend. Hey friend. I'm really here in high school, yeah. This is fucking wild to me. First of all, this high school doesn't give a damn about shit. Like literally these kids are randomly fucking walking the halls when the fuck ever. I know, right? I ain't not like Jackie, so that's how I have to remember it. Um, she's cool, but now I have to leave. She's my little buddy in my class, and she's about to live her life from the great. And I'm about to try to figure out my life and how the fuck I'm gonna get off of this. <laughs> hey, look, I actually don't go to school here. I was like, do I have to like preach, show you something? Well, Mason, just make sure you visit. I mean, you sign here first so you can get yourself a visitor's. Yeah, like it would be weird. Okay, yeah, perfect. I was just, I just thought I tried to make sure I was like, over oh, there, I'm thinking I'm a kid here, whatever. Yeah, okay, that's perfect. what I thought too. Yeah, okay, perfect. Thank you. So she thought I was a student. Everybody thought I was a student. Literally, no one gave a damn. Literally, no one gave a damn. Literally, I was just in a high school, like for a whole period during like the middle of it. And I just walked out. I had just walked out. Like the girl just asked me a question, like what's going on, and told me next time make sure I sign in. Girl, girl. And it's not even like this specific to it. This is like a schools across the nation literally don't have security. They just don't. I could have stayed for um, second period. It was like picture day or something for them and I could have stayed till the second period, but I wasn't gonna fucking do that. I didn't live for high school the first time, so I wasn't gonna stay there that long this time. I just wanted to get in and show you guys that you can literally walk into a fucking high school and that's a problem. By the time you guys see this video, it, I'm probably gonna try to have this video up tomorrow. Like, so this video will be up tomorrow. So this is the day after Labor Day, which is September 3rd. So my, oh, Beyonce's birthday. But essentially, like I said, the reason why I did this is because for Hollywood High School, like that is one of the most 
well-known schools in Los Angeles. Like, it's literally in the heart of Hollywood, which is one of the most known places in the world, attracting all types of tourists, all types of people, homeless people, locals, tourists, people who are transplanting here. Like, everybody's here. So, it's just really disheartening that there's a school like that that has so little of security and... Um, the fact that America, one, doesn't even give a damn. Like, it's not even just that school. Like, I don't want this to be a video just, like, isolating Hollywood High School. Because, like, that's a high school. I'm pretty sure I could do that with any, any high school in Los Angeles. Mostly for public schools because it is not an issue that, like, private schools really have. Because most of those schools are so tightly knit that all of either all of the teachers know the student. They have small classrooms, so it's really easy to identify somebody who is new. Or they have really, really good security. Or they have, like, uniforms that make it to where, like, it, it because their parents can afford, like, expensive uniforms. Um, they have uniforms, so it's really easy to know, okay, these students go to our school. These are regular people. Versus public schools where a lot of black and brown kids go don't have that for security measures. And then on top of that, we live in a country that literally doesn't care about gun control. We literally don't care about climate change. We don't care about shit. We don't care about shit. And... We always try to, like, brag and was like, the kids to the future, the kids to this, the kids to that. But we literally put, like, we don't give a fuck. And we've seen time and time again that most of the times the most devastating shootings are usually places that you don't really think that's going to happen. I.e. a movie theater or a mall or a restaurant or a school. And most of these places don't have security. I don't want it to be a situation where we live in a world where you now have to worry about these things all the time. Or you have to make sure that you have security at high school. You go through four-step security before you can get to your first period. Or to get to a movie theater, you go through like six metal detectors. Like, I don't want it to be that situation. I just feel like there has to be some level of change. Like, we need to make it to where... There is some sense of security in the fact that you can go to high school and not worry about that. Or you can go somewhere to a movie and not worry about it. Um, and I think that it should be gun control. And I definitely think that that should be like talked about more. Um, and it should actually be changed. And I know this seems like kind of dramatic because it's just like a random kid that kind of looks like a high school student going to high school. But it's just a simple fact to show you that it, it's no security in getting into a high school. Like you really can just go any fucking time so it's just wild i was talking to some of the kids there because i ended up telling them like hey i'm not saying like i don't want y'all to think i'm just like a regular student like this is my situation i'm doing a social experiment um and they were like yeah like that is well like i kind of thought about it but i didn't really like take it into consideration until like i see literally a random where i can look at your license and it says you're 23 years old and you're a random from fucking texas you know like that's when it's just like, okay, yeah, so you do that and you have really good intentions. How about the people who don't have good intentions? So, yeah, um, that's all I wanted to showcase for this video. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please share this video. I would love for you to subscribe, but I would more so love for you to share this video. Get it out there because I feel like this is a really good topic and I feel like people need to hear this and I feel like people need to see this so it can just show them like, hey, this is a very light example, but this could have turned out completely different if I would have been a fucking psycho, you know? Love you guys. See ya in my next video. And yeah, I would have tried to like not die in Los Angeles traffic. Okay, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.